Our today's topic is random variables. Uh, I suppose that random, a random variable is uh, the most important concept in this science, in probability theory. Uh, so that is why it is very important for, for you to, to, to understand what is it and uh, to operate with, uh, to be able to operate with, with random variables and other uh, its properties uh, to solve problems on random variables and so on. So, um, you already know that in our science, everything is based on the concept of a repeatable experiment with unpredictable outcomes. Uh, and when we are talking about random e events, um, we, every time the experiment is done, we want to know if the outcome is favorable for our event of interest or not. So, uh, all outcomes are divided into favorable ones and not favorable ones uh, for, for a certain, certain e event of interest. And when we are dealing with random variables, uh, a numerical value is observed every time the experiment is repeated. So, for example, uh, if we consider this example we already know, when a teacher chooses a student to ask him a question, and when we were talking about uh, random events, we were interested in some uh, nominal features of these students. For example, student's name, student's sex, uh, uh, is the student married or single? And now we are interested in some numerical values. For example, uh, the height or weight or age uh, of, of a chosen student. So each time the experiment is repeated and each time we know the outcome, uh, we are observing some numerical value. So, and this numerical value depends on the outcome of the experiment. For example, if I have five students and if the value I'm observing is the height of the chosen student, uh, the particular number I will get as a result of the experiment depends on whom I will choose. It depends on the student that is chosen. Depends on the outcome of the experiment. And such numbers are called random variables in our science. So, random variable uh, is a number that depends on the outcome of the experiment. Or a variable with its numerical value depending on the outcome of the experiment. We can say so. So, um, how this can be described. Uh, you see that we have a set of all possible outcomes of the experiment. Uh, we are calling these sets sample space, as you remember. And uh, we have a set of real numbers, the numerical axis. And we have a correspondence between them. So uh, we have a real number corresponding to each of uh, to each outcome, to every outcome of our experiment. And you see that it is a, a possible situation when uh, one single number corresponds to several outcomes of the experiment, but it is impossible uh, for several numbers to be uh, corresponding to just one single outcome of the experiment. So. Uh, one outcome, one numerical value. Uh, such a situation when mm, we have just one number of, of a set corresponding to each element of the other set, su such uh, correspondence, in mathematics it is called function. So that is why uh, mathematically random variable is a function function defined on the capital omega, on the sample space, 
with its values in R, in set of real numbers. So that is how we can define what a random variable is in an informal way and in more strict mathematical way. So short informal definition is that a random variable is, a, is such a number that its numerical value depends on the outcome of the experiment. So each time the experiment is repeated, this variable takes some value that depends on the outcome. Uh, mathematical definition is that a random variable is a measurable numerical function uh, defined on the sample space, on the capital omega, with its values in R, in the set of uh, real numbers. Uh, so measurable function, this term measurable is a term from the functional analysis and uh, so never mind. Uh, all, all functions we meet in our real life, all functions that um, uh, describe correspondence between sets that can be met in our real life, all of them are measurable. So this uh, this additional additional property, not simply a numerical function, but a measurable numerical function, uh, is not so very important. There are two types of random variables, discrete and continuous one. Uh, to understand the difference, we are to mark all possible numerical values of, of a random variable uh, on the numerical axis. And if this set of all possible values is a set of isolated points, so we see number of points and empty space between them, this is a discrete random variable. If we see an interval, so if we see that a random variable can take any value from some interval, from some range on the numerical axis, uh, this is a continuous random variable. There are also hybrid random variables that are partially discrete and partially continuous, but we won't consider such types, uh, su this type of random variables in our course. So let's say that they can be either discrete or continuous. Sometimes this uh, border that separates discrete random variables from continuous one, ones is um, not so very strict. So sometimes we can treat a random variable as a discrete one or as a continuous one uh, according, how to say, to, to our wish. For example, uh, let's say that uh, random variable of our interest is the height of the first person uh, you meet when you go out to the street. Is this random variable discrete or continuous one? At first glance, we can say that obviously it is a continuous random variable. So as a height of a random person can take any values in some range. So for example, the let's say that from 140 to 210 centimeters. So height of a random person can take any value between these uh, figures, between these numbers. Uh, but if the random variable of our interest is, is not the height itself, but a result of measurement, so you can say that we are measuring heights, let's say up to one millimeter. Uh, and so in this case, not the height itself, but the result of measurement, result of measuring height with some accuracy is a discrete random variable as there is some step so we can the result of measurement can be equal uh, for example to 171.1 and then to 171.2 so possible values are isolated points in this case or another example uh, random variables that are sums of money by their physical meaning. Uh, 
for example, I go out to the street and I ask the first person I meet there about his or her salary, and he answers. And I know that the minimal unit of money is one cent or one kopeck in Russia. And so um, this is a discrete random variable because there is a step, uh, this uh, sum of money that this person earns cannot be equal to non-integer number of cents, for example. But this step is so small, so little, that uh, usually we consider such, uh, we treat such random variables as continuous ones. So usually when something is measured in dollars or in rubles, we say that let it be a continuous random variable. Uh, in spite of the fact that uh, in more strict terms, it is not continuous, but a discrete one.